Wow, just wow. What did I actually watch? We put out the best team physically possible against another League One side. And for some reason, we're drawing up against Oxford. Oxford United. Bearing in mind, this is the team that put us out before. I remember going to that game as well. So now we're, now we're due for another replay. And it's at their ground. Fourth round of the FA Cup. You would have thought this is like semi-finals. This is fourth round of the FA Cup. Full team out. And we cannot beat League One Oxford. I've not even checked where Oxford are. Probably towards the top of the table, albeit. But they are in League One. League One opposition. Why are we struggling against League One opposition again? Again, look. On my laptop to the left of me, I've got the team. I'm going to read it out. Does this seem like a weakened side too, Newcastle United fans? Darlow in goal. Yes, we have Duke Bravka, but Darlow in goal for cup games, I don't mind that. Yedlin, Cher, Lascelles, Clark, Ritchie, Almiron, Sean Longstaff, Ben Taleb made his debut, St. Maximin and Joe Linton up top. Let me run through the team because that team is strong enough not only to get through to this, the next round of this competition, but to go quite far as well. Ben Taleb made his first, uh, made his debut. He didn't really do it too much apart from a shot from distance. Again, it's understandable. It's not played all season. So, again, I can let him off from that one. At the back, what we've got, Yedlin still, again, can't cross the road, uh, let alone cross the ball. There's a reason why we signed Lazar and hopefully he takes his place in the next game uh, going forward because I can't see too much more of that. Share. The sales, the sales was lucky to stay on, in my opinion. Oxford United fans, I have your, I sympathise with you because when I see that challenge or attempt of a challenge in the first half, that could easily have been a red, especially in the Premier League. Uh, but he was lucky to stay on the pitch. Clark, another solid game. Richie, again deputising for Willems now, who's obviously out for the rest of the season. Um, again, probably our best left wing back at the club because he can get back and he's decent going forward. But I still don't think it's his pervert. Position, if if you ask me, um, Miron probably the brightest spark out of the lot. More brighter towards the end when ASM came off. I'd have to say ASM took the first half, and then Al Miron had the second half. Uh, Sean Long stuff again. I don't know what's going on with his form. His form just dipped a lot. Um, ben Taleb, as I said before, made his debut. Didn't do too much. Saint Maxman again in the first half is all over the shop. Um, Couple decent attempts as well, lively, but again, still doesn't seem his normal self. I still think he's suffering from an injury as well. And then Joe Linton, what is there to be said that I haven't said before? I mean, £40 million pounds for that. Although he did have the ball in the back of the net twice, obviously both given offside, rightfully so, but still, some of the, I think the last one was that one took the piss as well. Fell to him 80 whatever minute, 90th minute, whatever. And skies it over the bar. Even if it is his left foot, you're still a Premier League striker who costs £40 million. I do not see a return on investment on that coming anytime soon. Oxford United, on the other hand, you guys have done yourselves proud. You could have put us out of the cup, especially towards the end of the game. Um, I'm looking forward to the replay because it's closer to home for me. Might possible get possibly get a ticket. But at the same time, I don't know, at their ground, I remember watching it and um, yeah, Rafa was in charge. We went out. That was on the days where, well, Rafa never really took a cup run seriously. <laughs> and uh, we got dumped out of the cup. So at their grounds, we can't exactly use an excuse saying that we're going to have our full team out because that was our full team out, barring probably, barring probably Dubravka maybe. Maybe Lazaro might get ahead of Yedlin if he's up to speeds. But that was our full team out, which is scary in itself because we should be beating League One opposition quite comfortably and... To think that we don't really need more games going forward because the amount of injuries that we're getting per game is actually frightening. Norwich up next, I think, in the Premier League. And then obviously we've got this replay to contend with as well, which is going to be probably soon after, if not before. I don't know how the fixtures are working off the top of my head. But that is just abysmal. Uh, I'm running out of words to describe that because... To watch and sit down and watch that for 90 minutes. I don't care about the attendance figures. I don't care about the 52,000 fans that went there. He was giving away tickets for a quid to, to kids and what's it, £10 adults. So again, you're going to get a good attendance on a Saturday afternoon in the cup. It's cup fever and we're looking to try and get past the fourth round. And to give that sort of performance against an Oxford United side, I'm sorry, but that is terrible. I've given Bruce's props um, where, he, where he has got them. I don't really think that's 
mainly down to him, if I'm honest, because although some of the substitutions that came on, what Hayden, at two again, I don't really want to see in a black and white shirt too soon. And who's the other one as well? Um, who else did we bring on? Fernandez did we bring on? I don't know. No, Matty Longstaff, sorry. Beg your pardon. Matty Longstaff as well. Again, looks a, a little bit more lively than Ben Zilev, obviously because he's played more game time or had more game time. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Um, what could have been done to prevent that? Because I don't think there's much. Obviously, it just shows how much we're in desperate need of a striker. Um, I know we keep hearing Jared Bowen links, but obviously he wouldn't be able to play because he's probably cup tired. But there's so many things that, well, a striker definitely is, ne is definitely needed. Probably a left wing back because Richie just hasn't got the pace to get forward, and that's an and an area that we need to attack now, especially now that we strengthened strengthened the right hand side. But it's not much Bruce could have done in terms of selecting personnel. I think it's just down to the players on the pitch. Joe Linton is clearly not good enough striking wise. And then St. Maximum, we probably need to rest him a bit more because he's not clearly not fully fit. And then we need to get Miggy Almiron into the game a lot more quicker because, again, as I said, second half was his, but only towards the end. It's almost like they both can't perform at the same time, ASM and Miggy. It needs one or the other. It needs to be both of them. But anyway, hats off to you guys, especially uh, Oxford United fans, sorry, for making the trip up there. And obviously you've got your, well, you've got your big day in the next game as well so hopefully you probably sell it out and uh, hopefully I'll get to be there as well but I'm still disappointed I'm not going to lie anyway take care of yourselves and uh, I might see you in the replay see you all soon and I feel like Stormzy's still disappointed <laughs>